Hi, my name is Dexter Skeppel. I'm part of the Office of Gun Violence Prevention under the leadership of Director Anthony Emmanuel. It's a great pleasure and an honor to be here today. I want to talk about the art of de-escalation, how to avoid an argument that could lead to violence. There are so many times in our community where people sometimes choose to escalate an argument instead of de-escalating an argument. I had a situation just recently with myself personally where um, this particular person was just arguing profusely, just continuing to argue and argue. And this is one of the ways that I de-escalate this whole potential heated conversation. First of all, I've learned to listen. Because sometimes when somebody is heated, sometimes you have to be the listener. If you're not the listener, then you are going to become eventually the aggressor. And sometimes argument leads to violence, and sometimes argument actually leads to other people's death. So what I learned today, what I learned to do at that part was just learn to listen, to listen. I did not um, argue back, I just learned to listen. And sometimes in an argument, sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, sometimes you have to be the listener. The second thing that I did, and I want you to maybe adopt this if you don't do it already, is the second thing is maybe to get a hold of your own emotions. And sometimes if we don't have control of ourselves, then there's no way that we can have control of somebody else's emotions. So the thing that I learned to do in that situation was learn to take a hold of myself. There was a lot of thoughts going through my mind, a lot of things that was going through my mind, and I just learned to listen and to be quiet because sometimes an argument can be avoided or something can escalate if we learn to just learn to be quiet and listen and get a hold of our personal emotion. In gun violence, a lot of times I believe the thing that we have to do is Think before we act. I want to remind you about this again. Think before you act. Before you do anything, think about it because our actions have consequence. Another thing I want to remind you about is think before you speak. Before something comes out of your mouth, think about what you're about to say because it can greatly have a negative impact on somebody else's life. So as I went through this potential argument that could lead to violence, I just listened. I allowed the person to talk. It lasted for about maybe three, five minutes. When the person was done, they walked off and it was all said and done. I could have engaged that person. I could have continued to escalate the conversation. But you and I have to learn how to de-escalate potential violent situation. And then when you're done, you can walk away and you may have avoided violence, maybe you on that person or that person upon yourself. Here's another thing that I want you to think about. You never know what's in the heart of another person. You never know. You never know what, how they're going to take this. You never know how far they're going to go with it. And you and I have to learn to de-escalate every situation. Maybe that person is under severe stress. Maybe they're stressed out. Maybe it's something that's going on in their lives. And you can be a negative benefactor of somebody else's stress. So I want to remind you, be careful with the words that you use when you're in an argument. Be careful with the words that you use because words have power. Words could escalate something and you want to be the person that causes peace. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but sometimes things are avoidable if you and I learn how to de-escalate every situation that comes our way. Again, I want to remind you how important it is to think before you act and think before you speak. Remember, the, the tone of our voice in an argument is a part of escalating something that we could de-escalate. Our voice, the tone of our voice, the gestures and the movement of our hands. I gave that particular person space so that they can be able to say whatever they had to say because in their minds, they were correct. So you cannot convince somebody 
that is correct in their mind to de-escalate something. So I just listened. I listened. And maybe in your next argument that you face, because you will have an argument with someone, with a spouse, with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your brother, with your sister, it can escalate. But what you and I have to learn how to do is how to de-escalate. So I'm teaching you and reminding you, for those of you who already know, the next time something gets hot and heavy, sometimes the best thing to do is to think before you speak, think before you act, and learn to walk away from it. On behalf of Director Anthony Emanuel at the Office of Gun Violence Prevention, we're here to make sure that you learn how to de-escalate. Thank you for sharing this time. God bless you.